What the f is going on? I like to party. Jesus, honey, wax much? This is Unwaxed. Get in, Lizzie. We're going shopping. With Sophia and Sistine Stallone. Did we just become best friends? Yep. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. That's good for a podcast right here. You could have easily just lied and said it was Okay, trash. okay. So let's start the episode. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Unwax Podcast with your favorite sisters, Sophia and Sistine. Wow. wow. First of all, it feels like it's been two centuries. It has since been a while. we've been in the studio. We, well, it's true. We shot, what, the part one, part two, almost two weeks ago, over two weeks ago? Yeah. And we didn't think... That it, we would be expanding and extending it this much longer, but then we ended up just spiraling into more you know chaos. What? I don't know if this is the new us. Maybe we were reborn, reshifted, lobotomized, yeah, whatever know. it is. We've just become very spontaneous. Yeah. And on last week's episode, we said we were going to stagecoach, mm -hmm. which we did. And then the day after stagecoach, we said, let's go to Miami. Well... Yes, but it wasn't it wasn't instigated some by us. It was details. So, yeah, we ended up in Miami. We met a couple people at Stagecoach and they just asked us the moment we landed in the city, do yeah. you want to go to Miami? And Sissy and I realized this. We've been in a festival desert dirt storm for three days. Yes. Thriving kinda. Not not the whole time. It was okay. Some points were highs, some points were lows. I was a little disappointed. I'm this not gonna year. lie. But Still did it, still drank, yeah. still rallied. Landed at 11 30, 12 at night. Got the text about Miami on Thursday. We had one day turnover. What did we say? Get your stripper heels out. Mr. 305. <gasps> oh, wait. Did you just remember that? I don't I, know how you forgot about that. That was like the that was the highlight of we my whole weekend. Saw, wait, should we just get into the whole weekend? Yeah, let's just get into but, the whole but weekend. But before we do. We have a huge announcement. The man, the myth, the mystery behind the camera just celebrated his, what, 27th? 26th? 27th. 27th old man. birthday. Yeah. Did you just call yourself an old man right when I said you're you, old? You that said it slightly mean. after I was already saying what I was saying? I feel like Chris is my enemy today, well, but Well, first fine. of all, I feel, crazy. Like, I feel like a complete dipshit because I walked into the studio <laughs> and said happy birthday, and he said it was five days no, ago. No, no, and then he goes, it was Cinco de Mayo, and she goes, wait, but I thought it, I thought it was I this week. Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> it's literally the date's in the name. The date's the name. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> but to make up for it, we have part one of part two of your gift. Oh my because god. Because we forgot part two of the apartment. So here's part one. I'm gonna throw it to you. Oh, oh Jesus ready? Christ, hold on. Ready? Oh jeez. It's just Oh! Okay, open we got it. it. Open it. Okay. And read it. It's not, you're making it sound like it's <laughs> like huge. <laughs> it's not. It's <laughs> it is a heart. Cookie that says birthday, bitch. Yay! <laughs> Happy birthday, Chris! Thank you. Oh my God. Thank and you to so all the much. You're so welcome. We thank you so much for all the advice. And you help us keep us on track with these. Can podcasts. I just say, <laughs> thank you guys. My mother talked about you last night to me. Really? Did she really? That's a it? high for honor. Literally wow. 10 minutes. 10 she goes, minutes? What? No, I, this is what I wanted to say on the show in front of you. We were oh. on the phone. And she goes, by the way, I'm all caught up on Unwaxed Part 1, Part 2. And I said, really? That's amazing, Mom. She goes, and I'm really curious. And I go, what? She goes, what does Chris look like? And I go, what do you mean? <laughs> She's trying to set you she up. She goes, well, <laughs> he's got this, like, really cool demeanor. Like, she hasn't he seems, seen him. <laughs> no, she goes, how old is he? And I said, well, I, I think he's 26, 27. And he goes, well, he just seems, like, so level-headed and wise and... <laughs> And I go, yeah, mom, you should see he wears like really sick pants all the time. Like he's got. Cool. And she, she brings goes, up the pants. That's and she, crazy. And, and so I was trying to describe how you look to her. And she goes, that makes sense. Well, I don't know. I think he's a really great addition and he must have been raised really well. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jennifer. That she loves my you. Heart. Thank you. Wow. She yeah, but she said, you, never, mom. never reveal him. And I said, well, we'll never do that. Yeah, I figured. Sorry. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> but uh, other than birthdays, everyone has been celebrating this weekend. We went to stagecoach and we killed ourselves that entire time. We, yeah. I will have to say, stagecoach this year was. Wah, wah, wah. You, you know, no, it was it was a little wah, It was like two wah wahs. Wah wah. I would say wah it wah, was wah wah. It was it was a wah. It was a, it was wah wah. <laughs> So but the point is, is that I, 
like I liked I liked the lineup going into I thought I did. Yes. But then I realized there is very few artists that I was going to be able to see if I was leaving at 4 p.m., 5 p.m., you know, because yes. most of them played before that. And you guys are wondering, you could have just gotten there earlier. But let me tell you, that wasn't physically possible because the sun's only out for so long. And Steve and I prioritized tanning over also <laughs> music, I guess. That's so true. <laughs> you know, that's really what it was. Sophia and I After had and um, body, body dysmorphia in the sense that we were so pale yeah. that we didn't recognize ourselves. Like, yeah. we honestly looked ill. Yeah, we really looked back. Well, we de- we decided this, and we realized this after this entire two weekends away. New York just makes you ugly. New York, I have a bone to pick with you. You're looking I, up at New York. I'm praying to the New York gods. What is I in the know. air? What's in the water? What is up with looking your absolute worst. Your skin is flared and rashy yeah. and red. Your hair is dry and brittle. You're pale. You're every time you reapply lotion, just kidding, have to put on another layer. I it's just awful for no, you. I said this to Sistine. And guys, I actually like get on your phone right now and go to your Instagram. Just look at the photos from the months of October to I'd say April. And then compare it to the photos from May. To September. See, that's difficult for me because there's not one Instagram in which I'm not wearing fake tan. No, no, no. So I but I'm tell. looking at my photos and I can see a clear difference. The glow in my skin, the sparkle yeah. in my eye, just the pure happiness of just seeing sun. Yeah. And just traveling or just having, and just knowing it's summer and it's hot somewhere. But yes. the other ones, ooh, no wonder I'm like actually unavailable for all men. At that time, like I just, I just don't thrive in the winter or fall. No. I love the fall, but I seriously, th- it's just bad. It's I just bad. Realize that. But back to Palm Springs. Yeah, it was so windy, so dusty. Yeah, I spent two hundred dollars on dry cleaning every cute little white cowgirl dress that I bought because it it is covered, covered in dirt. I know, disgusting. It was it was disgusting. Well, it's because everyone from Coachella, you know ruins the fields and then all of a sudden it's stagecoach weekend and all the dust that's been kicked but up. i do have to say this i have this weird gift mm-hmm. i have a manifestation gift where every time that i say i want to meet someone or i hope to run into someone i always do it's actually true she'll bring up someone from instagram and then yep end up meeting him two two, two. yeah two people tell me this riddle me this there was one man in particular that I would hope to run into. But once you enter the festival, there is no service. There's no way of meeting up with someone. If you're trying to find one person in a crowd of 100,000 people, you better just not try. Getting lost at Stagecoach or Coachella is really scary. It's brutal. Because then it's, we walked four miles home every day. It was just longer, Longer, yeah. So tell me why. As we're walking in, it's pitch black at at night. Duh. (laughs) (laughs) And... The one person, this person's alone, which is weird, alone, comes right up to me. And I said, oh, my God, I shit myself. And as I'm trying to put Riz on, Sophia just interjects, hey, I'm the sister. Why? <laughs> I have about 20 seconds with him while he's moving, and you had to come well, in. This is the problem. I completely forgot about this, is that he doesn't know me. No. And but it's because pro- I talk about him so that's much. That's the problem, <laughs> is that I've stalked him so much in your honor. Oh. And then also, not only that, I've just heard about him so much. And so I thought... He would know me immediately. No. But he doesn't know me at all. No, and so I jump in like, hey, yeah, and I'm the sister. Like, nice to finally meet you. But I'm like, <laughs> what am I talking yeah, about? I and never I was, like, talked so to him annoyed before. Because he was on the move and we were on the move. So I was like, you just took away four seconds of my precious But your time. wins were my wins. And so I got really excited when I saw him. And let me tell you number two. On the episode of part one, I said, maybe we'll see the Montana boys. That was your... You wanted to No, I didn't want that? to. I just accidentally mentioned the Montana boys. And what happened? He's in my DM. Yeah. The, Not I'm, Kristen's. I was going to say... <laughs> Not the hot one. <laughs> that, that, is that oh. They're all Yo. attractive. But he is objectively just like... Please, anyone that has Not a last name with looking. a Y and a Z in the name of boys is just absolutely... Yeah. Don't touch him, please. Well, anyway, no stagecoach but... was okay. It was good. We saw Jelly Roll. Love oh, Jelly okay, Roll. Okay, so I will say the top... Three oh. favorites of mine were for sure number one was Morgan Wallen for me. Because Morgan Wallen just brought, gives off big C energy. He gave yeah. off the intro walk-in. He's just, he's just I was, cool. So he's he's believe me. I always said, I was like, you got to 
Morgan has a little swag. And she goes, Morgan? no, no, no. Suddenly, he has the hottest Rolodex of women. Does he? His roster is insane. What's the insane. roster? Like Are his, they blonde? Like his like previous <laughs> girls. Yo. Super blonde, super tan. Okay, well, super big on that. tits. Oh, okay, good. I can She's a super girl. I could. I have two or three. <laughs> what, what, which one did I'm you have? Definitely not tan. <laughs> like red. <laughs> I'm like pasty. All right. All right. Well, I loved Morgan Wallen. Okay. He was great because he brought up Post Malone. Also, speaking of, I will. I will say, was Post my favorite? He's an incredible country singer. I will say he was good. Yeah. I will say he was good, but. I didn't love the music they chose. Because it's all his new stuff. No, it know. wasn't. It was all covers. He only played covers. But the Ooh. problem is he played his favorite covers. I'll tell you, I'm a country fan, but just like surface level country fan. Unless I deep dive into one artist. But pretty much like I know all the classic ones we all know. He like knows them. So, but my second favorite was for sure Jelly Roll. And who was third? Um, I, um, okay, this is what's so insane. We've only seen three people. This is what I'm so just I about to say. I can't even rank anyone else. We went to a three day festival and saw one person per day. Yeah. Out of How? hundreds, because well, we're dumb. No, I no, mean, I can't. We can't. It's actually not our fault. It's actually not our fault. It's not our fault. Um, but it also kind of taught me with festivals and stuff like, you really do need to make sure that it's, I'm not even, this is not even shade, but like the people that you bring or just in general, you should always make sure that it's people aligned to like what you're into, what you're gonna do. Like, yeah. you know, it's just in general, like you have to, and by the way, bigger is not better. I also believe in that too. Well, I actually was talking about this with mom, which by the way, also side note, I'd like to point out that I did not faint this year. <gasps> Yay. Actually, but I almost did, but <laughs> I stopped myself at Post Malone. Oh yeah, you did almost faint. Yeah, but I stopped myself. I stopped yeah. myself. Yeah. Um, anxiety. Uh, so she's like, I can't handle this music. <laughs> but I was telling mom the other day, I said, the reason why I love going out with Sophia or traveling with just Sophia is we are such a good duo. Yeah. Like you don't have to worry about what I'm doing. I don't have to worry about what you're doing. We can split it for three hours, yeah. be okay, and then find our way to each other. We don't rely on each other for like no. company if we're awkward. Well, like, we're we're in the same level of like how often we want to go out, when we would want to go The level home. of drunk we'll get. The level of drunk we'll get. We'll never like surpass one another. It's when pretty much equal home. or someone's a little less. And then not only that, like getting ready wise, neither one of us have to rely on each other for getting no. ready. And like, it's like we finish at the exact same I time. I love you, Scarlett, but Scarlett is in a pain to get she's ready manic with. she's manic she has her makeup everywhere she's like last minute everything her outfits are all bad and then it just becomes like oh, a little we'll bit. tell you about this so let's get into miami because we oh. see scarlet so there. we land into new york and then basically skip the ground and get back into miami <laughs> <laughs> so we decided we got invited by um i'm just gonna shout them out because they're the best company ever raising canes raising, raising canes, canes invited us to join them for f1 and by the way miami. We, i want to say we also met the people that run it when I say the most incredible family I've ever met in my entire yeah, life. Yeah, we're not just saying that. I'm like, not even just saying that. I'm being so These dead people on. are like. You don't meet people like this. Like you want them as good friends in your yeah, life. So yeah, so just just like know if you're buying Raising Canes, you're buying from an amazing. The most incredible, incredible people. people. Like Todd Graves and Sophia Graves. They're just the best. So we. Sweetest we, people. Yeah, sweetest people in the world. So we get to Miami and we, this is the thing. Let me just do a side, side note here. So see and I, when we go to Miami. We like to ball on a budget. And you guys think that we're bougie. There's things we can get bougie with. But with Sina, we like to actually, we, do, we I, do try to like minimize the, last, the price. The last <laughs> two times we went to Miami, <laughs> this is how stupid, why did we do this? We, For no reason. We purposely chose a hotel that doesn't offer turndown service, like housekeeping or um, room service yeah. to cut back to cut on back costs. costs. Yeah. So it was like, well, it was after like, the fourth day, we're literally yeah. in disgusting No, film. no, no. It's like, I've, we've been to hotels where our doors were like swung open. It's just, we we just try to ball it a How budget. do you even find that? I, I didn't know. even know that was a thing. We literally tried to find like the cheapest, like, and if we told four our, star. If we, and if we told our parents, they'd be so, <laughs> so mad. But, but this time, spared, we didn't, but we didn't actually, I mean, they sponsored basically They did trip, everything so, for us. So the best curated weekend ever. We just had to show up and be girls. And thing I realized is that I hate planning. I am good at planning, yeah. but I will tell you this, when you're planning something, it's not as fun as when you're just showing up. Never it is. It's like hosting a birthday party. You're the one stressed out making sure everyone else is happy. But when you're the one not hosting, showing up, 100%. It's like, fine, who cares? So we wow. land Friday morning. Yeah. Friday evening. 
we kick it off. Kick it was it off. crazy. Yeah. They had a perfect plan for every single day. Friday night, they got a table at one of the biggest nightclubs in Miami. Yeah. And we were with the coolest group of people, by the way. Like, everyone was either, like, a huge podcaster, a big comedian, like, all these internet people. Well, we can, like, say, I want to say some of the people because it was actually really cool. We walk, Speaking no, wait, well, they, everyone can see on our page. Like, we hung out, first of all. What was it? Hello, brother. What's his name? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Oh, what's Sketch. up, brother? Sketch. You know Sketch? What's up, brother? I have no idea. Wow, I feel like you're, you're a dude. You're supposed to know <laughs> that. that. I feel like it's like a dude thing. But like we met Caleb Presley from like Sunday That's Conversation dope. and Glenny Balls, who are is we just love Glenny Balls. Glenny, He's in love I with Sophia. That's sick. Like, we love him. He's the best. Um, we met. Oh, we hung out with Theo Vaughn, which was really cool. I know we're like totally name dropping, but you don't understand. But it was cool. Guys, I want to give you guys the context. Never, like we haven't hung, hung out with any of these like, people cool before. No, and we're. I mean, look, it's like it's it's funny because this the crowd we're mentioning is very male based like it's it's just oh, it's like all the people by the way i would say we were pretty much one of the two like girl based people like everyone we else is athletes and it was and like, like mike malak like it was bar stool just, yeah. impulsive type people so it's uh, we're 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 truly the outcasts in the situation <laughs> but so it was so fun and, and i was, was trying was so, so nice. hard to not be like change my personality being around all men i definitely didn't i i didn't i feel like i didn't but i do want to point out you know how you see people online and then you automatically have a preconceived notion about who well, they are, what the personality yeah, is. Yeah. I will never do that again. Not that I was judging any of these people before, but I just wasn't, I just didn't assume that they'd all be so nice. Everyone like, was just so, so I nice. I can't list one person that yeah. was an influencer this weekend, which is and all the athletes that were there too. Like they were big ones. No one was rude. I mean, like not one person. Was influencers. Just so, and I They're just, people too. By the way, you know? I, by the way, there's nothing more I want to do than tell someone like an influencer is me. Because usually that's how it is. A yeah. lot of influencers are not nice. But collectively, this group on the Miami weekend was just so great. They were so great. And they made us feel so welcome. So and, yeah. let's get to the table. We're at the club. Yeah. John Summit's performing. By the way, the energy from that boy... He deserves electric. electric. All of it. He's, He's so good. He's just so happy to be there. He's just smiling. You Miami, know? how are we feeling, baby? We love John Summit. <laughs> By the way, were you even that drunk? Because no, I, I wasn't was, at all. There's two types of people when you go out, right? There's Sophia, who's like on the ground, kind of nodding, knowing that the rest of the weekend's be crazy, so she's not drinking. I'm pacing. <laughs> then there's me, on top of the arm of the couch, higher than the table could possibly be, arms in the air. Yeah, but, but you, got, you, gotta have, you gotta have a yin and a yang. You were having fun. You were. Thriving. I was ready to go out again. I was like, let's go to the strip club. It's four in the morning. I was. Not I ready. didn't need to. You know what it was? I haven't been to a. You know, I, this is also what I realized. I haven't been to a club in a long time. I realized I'm not totally a club girl. We're so unless bad. I'm in Miami. That's when. I'll, but you didn't even club when we were there because well, we had three days left of the trip, and I knew. By the way, I was I was drinking all throughout dinner. But by the way, we. Let's just preface, Friday, we went to a restaurant for drinks, we went to another restaurant for drinks, and then we went somewhere else for a drink, and then we went to the club. So you cannot tell me, I, I just stopped the club. Did I stop in the middle? No. Sistine just kept going. I thought you guys were on the same level at the time. What happened to that? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia gets a little heady. I wasn't heady at all. I was having a great time. I was standing with Sophia. See, but that's the problem. She, she, you looked like so perfect the whole time. Not I looked really. awful. No, you didn't. By the end of the night, Sophia, my white dress was brown. Well, I think okay. I literally dark spray club. tanned through it. It was awful. That's a badge of honor. The spray tan sweat is a badge Wait, of honor. Speaking of sweat, the funniest thing is, so we all know my little sister Scarlett lives in Miami. Yeah. So when we told her we were coming, she was so happy. I said, we're going to this nightclub tonight, see if you can go. And she goes, I'm already here. Amazing. Of course she was. And it was so crowded. It, it yeah. Literally, people were smashed against each other, yeah. rubbing sweat. It was like disgusting. It was you, a crazy night. It was a crazy night. And I kept trying to call her. I couldn't get a hold of her. All of a sudden, I look out into the middle of the sea of people, and I just see a sweat scarlet sweat with, like, hair stuck to her face. Like, She's cut her short, so it's, like, all. She's elbowing these hoes no. trying to get to her. <laughs> I was, like, like, didn't care. And she goes, this is how we do it. And she went, She raged. She danced like crazy. No, she really went out. I mean, she's she's a Miami chick. Like she's, she's good. She's in and out. I, I don't know how she does it all the week. Like, I, I don't know how she lives there 24-7, like, with college. I know. You know, that's a lot. But then Saturday was 
our recovery day. We rotted. We rotted on what is it? A pillow. A- <laughs> I couldn't remember the name. What's this? it called? What's it called? A beach towel? Not a beach towel. A um, what's the fucking thing next to the pool? Cabana. No, we don't. But pool chair. Pool chair. <laughs> <laughs> we're deleting all this. No, okay. we're yeah. not. Yes, we are. No, I, we're not. We're not keeping this entire no, thing. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. We brought it on a pool chair. A pool chair. That's where we. Okay. Yes, we did. Wait, by the way, we're shooting this podcast a little later. I've also had two cookies. I'm all slow. I'm all right slow right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is you where know I, what it is. This is where I start Do to like, know why we're slow downfall. right now. Not because we're tired of traveling. It's because we just had a big meal, so our tummies Huge. are full. Yeah. So we're ready for now. I feel like Pooh Bear. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know my genius? You know <laughs> You're so dumb. Thanks. I love you. Thank you. Um, so we brought it on Saturday. <laughs> Sunday's the big race day. Never been yeah. to a race car. Well, we, we did. We were supposed to go out Saturday night, but we didn't end up going. Yeah, because we're lame, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. Went we went to the race. It F1. was amazing. So why, oh, wait, wait. We didn't even explain why we were in Miami. We were just like, oh, they flew I did. I said F1. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, so race cars. <laughs> Drivers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That and that were there. Vroom, vroom. By the way, we all know Lando Norris won 24, right? <gasps> yeah. I, have I, no, I don't should have bet money because I said he's going to win. Everyone's like, no, Ferrari's going to get it. No, Mercedes is going to get it. No, Red Bull. I said, no, I really like the color of his car. That one's going to win. And I was right. Can I be so transparent? I don't know anything about this whole Are racing you not on- rave. No, I don't, I don't know anything about Are it. Are you not on the... Thirst Trap race car driver TikTok. Literally, why am no. I? I don't, no, 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 I'll tell you. Up. They're on it by swipe up because I don't know who they are. Like, I, I see that they have, like, girlfriends. Everyone's obsessed. I'm like, who are the these girls? girlfriends are gorgeous. I do not even stalk those girls. I don't know what's going on. But it was so much fun. It was huge. I didn't realize these paddocks are, like, massive. And then the energy. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. These cars are flying. 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 I would never let my son. I it would hurt never. my cute little I would tiny never. girl ears. I my like, son is not oh. allowed to do two things. Three things now. What? Football. I don't want any concussions. Oh. Um, race car driving. Oh. And chess, because that's dorky. You Yeehaw. played chess. <laughs> we were in You're the, in the ch- library all the time. By the way, Chris, I was, they I seem was, adjacent. We were in the chess club, and I, I learned my lesson. <laughs> we were the only girls. Exactly. Were you good? I was so good. Yeah. Here's what pisses me off, right? So you sick. were not good then. Hold on. <laughs> I am so good. I have only one time in the hundreds of games that I've played against Sophia mm-hmm. beat her. One time. And I'm winning the entire game. And then the last second, I'm like, she'll kill me with her pawn or something. Well, I, I watch her just do everything wrong, and I'm just oh. like strategizing on the side, like, okay, just like, let me let, win. No, nah, but that was, I think, actually, you haven't let me play you since because you wanted to be the last one. That and on a did you genuinely win that? Like, did you let her win? Oh, no, I actually let it. No, 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 she actually won. Okay. That was really, well, I was, no, I but know. you know what it was? I got cocky because I had won so many times that I wasn't really paying attention. She won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Interesting. yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the race was great. Yeah. We met Hulk Hogan. <gasps> that That's was sick. huge. I was coming brother. out of the potty room Wait. and I was like, brother. Brother. Oh my God. No, that crazy. was actually insane because what was crazy was we saw him surrounded by people, right? Yeah. Like, everyone was trying to talk to Hulk Hogan. Yeah. They're like, oh my God, Hulk. And Sistine, so, so, Scarlett, Sistine and I, we, we were like, we're over here with our little outfits. We're like, oh, he has this like wife there. We don't, we, like, how, do, he's not going to know who we are. So we kind of go up, we tap on the shoulder. No, I'll tell you what happened. You're totally rewriting what you said. We really wanted to go introduce ourselves. <laughs> well, I didn't ourselves. want to out you if you wanted to talk no. about this. I don't know where you're going, but I'm saying something different. Oh. I really wanted to meet him, and I know Sophia did too. And he was surrounded by a huge crowd of people in our box. So we're like, obviously, we don't want to bother him and like yeah. squeeze our way in there. But every time there was a moment, you were in my ear like a chihuahua. Go now. Go now. Go now. Like, you made me do it. So I was like, fuck it. So I went well, up. Uh, because, by the way, I got nervous because Sistine also wore this, like, very risque top to this race. Oh, so that's where you were going. And then that's where I was going. I was like, oh, God, his wife is going to be so upset. That You know, <laughs> looking like, back, was- looking back. Totally the wrong shirt to wear. It was a cloth. When I say it was just a square <laughs> cloth. It looked like a handkerchief. No, no, no. And like, that's it. No, no. Think about a square cloth. Imagine the two top parts have a hook and then the two sides Mom have a hook. said I look cute. It was, but it was hot. It was hot. It was too much though. Yeah, it was a lot. I'm not that girl. Well, clearly I am. <laughs> I don't know she, why I'm trying to tell myself. You bought it for the race, so you are that girl. What? By the way, it looked hot. Was it for a morning event? Probably not. Was it for 
probably no, live. It wasn't, yeah, it, the club. Yeah, yeah it just what? Like, what was I thinking? You looked good. You looked. You wore pants at least, not a skirt. Thank God, so I, I wore the, pants. At least the bottom half was covered. But anyway, we go up to Hulk Hogan and we said, "Hey." He didn't know who so we were at first. Yeah. We introduced ourselves, and then we walk away. Right. Cool. All of a sudden. Wait, no, no. But, we, no. We, but you have to say he. You, well, we introduced so ourselves, and then he got excited. He's like, oh, my God. Oh, because he knows yeah, our dad. Yeah. But I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. So he knows our dad. Obviously, that was our end, because why the frick would Hulk Hogan know any of us? Like, hi, we're Slides Dodgers. <laughs> the only time we'll ever yeah. name drop our own dad. We're like, so hey. <laughs> he got really excited. He's talking with us, which then made us look cool in front of all the other guys. We're like, hey, yeah, they're like, oh, we all want know. photos with him, and he's talking to us. Yeah. We're walking away and by some weird miracle. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Sly randomly FaceTimes me. Our dad me. FaceTimes. And I didn't tell him where we were. In the two minutes we talked with Hulk, I wouldn't have been able to text Sly. He FaceTimes me. So I run right back up to brother. And I said, look. And I stuck the phone in his face. And they had a whole conversation. So it blew up on Instagram. People that don't like, know, like... Uh, like they're both in TV and film, and so because I, mean, I feel like some of our girl listeners probably we don't know our dad is. Because like, like, some girls actually follow us for us, which is fun. But like, <gasps> no, I really? I've read, I read some comments like that. So just letting you guys know, they're both film people, and they've done movies together, and so they haven't seen each other in years, years, years. years. So this is we like invited into our house. This is like the ultimate reunion. So cool. I know. We said like you should go to Florida and like. Do you visit. think his hair is real? I don't know. I also just had not thought about. it. Do you think so? I don't know. It's so straight and platinum. What did they talk about? Um, oh, they, oh, just like big guy stuff. Yeah, they're like, yeah. They're they're like, they're like, dude, like, how are you? Like, very broy stuff. And then that's sick. About like the oh, films. Oh, oh, no. Hulk brought up a story about how he um, was doing a scene where he was fighting dad, and that he would hit dad really, really hard in the chest, and Sly would fly backwards, right? And Sly apparently told Hulk, "Don't hold back. Actually, do it." So he did it, sick. and then. You know, Hulk looks at him on the ground. He's like, oh, my God, are you okay? And my dad apparently got back up and said, do it again. Let's do another take. I yeah, so they were that reliving that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was just, like, rehashing that, and they were laughing with each other. He's like, we all need to hang out soon. Like, just, like, it's So I got funny. his kids' numbers. It was yeah, so yeah. great. It was so funny. It was a small world. Such a small world. So we ended the night um, not going out once again. We ordered cookies. We, we decided club? No. Cookies? Yes. yes. Did we have cookies before this podcast? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Cookies are always going to surpass everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're going to tell me you're going to choose sweaty bodies over a sweet treat? You're going to tell me well, you're going to choose Listen, I'm, I'm kind of upset because I've always wanted to go to dough. 11. You know 11. Yeah. I've always wanted to go. It's a strip club. club. They had a table. I didn't go. I didn't want to go. No, did I I'm kind of really upset. Every, a lot of people went on Saturday. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I, I don't have FOMO with stuff like that. I was dead tired. We had been socializing. That that race day was like an 11 a.m. till, what, 6 p.m. ordeal. I, I wish we were it. those girls that could rally. You know some girls can, like, drink more than three days in a row? I genuinely thought, I was like, Sophia, we are going to go off we, this weekend. We did well. Drink, what did we, drink? Drink? No. we drank. We dr- I drank. Not really Saturday, Sunday. Like, we gave up after the first night out. We did. We did not go out after. Okay, fine. We, like, yeah. Are we boring? No, we're old. College me? Speak for yeah. yourself. Yeah. Mid- no, that's mid- what to I is, it is that. Is I honestly, you think about it truly. In college, it, it was so insane. My stamina, I was able to go out. Seriously, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, not Sunday, maybe Monday. And I, and when I, and I tell you, hangovers barely touched me. I was having four locos. I was doing shots. No. I was, no, no. Because at USC, you, it's like half – it's either you you work hard, you play hard. You work really hard in school, but you play really hard on like yeah. sorority stuff. I'm telling you, now I could not be happier when someone cancels on me. Oh, that's the best. To like There's out. nothing better I, than when you don't want to go out to dinner and they cancel. No, I'm <laughs> – I just – I my stamina – because I know this about myself now. When we went out Friday night, even though I didn't drink the whole club, I, I, I felt did. it in the morning. And it's just getting older. You're just like, I kind of want to see a movie. I want to just eat and have a drink at my apartment, have a but, beer. But, like, but do you guys ever have this feeling where the day after you drank and you're out really late and you wake up so tired and your body's almost sore? Do you guys ever feel like, yeah, I did that. Like, that was a crazy night. Worth it. Or no. There's If I'm still drunk. <laughs> oh, yeah, it literally. Oh I have my to God. still drunk to think that. Like, Maybe yeah, that was, was. nice. Sistine. No, I've never had a thought being hung over. Be waking like that up. was crazy. But like, that was the best decision ever. I- Wait, speaking of old, by the way, mm. someone told me two days ago 
this woman comes up to me um, and she had a, a young three month old baby. And she said, how old are you? And I said, I'm 25. And she said, you should freeze your eggs. I said, what? Damn. But how old was she? I don't know how old she was. But she freezed her eggs. She froze her eggs a while ago, but she said, I, I should do it now. Like next week, boom, Wasn't get it over Wasn't this my dialogue like not even a month but ago? But I was freaking out because I'm like, is 25? <laughs> like, please watch what old? you say next. What, what, I literally what? just said, please watch. Like I'm 28 20 this year. 30. I'm 28 this year. But th- I feel like that's crazy. I'm going to punch her in the face. But also what's... What's She's probably just saying, like, you got to get the eggs, like, while you're, like, like you're really young fresh. so I will tell that you this. they're good. If I, if I don't find my guy in the next... Why are you giggling? <laughs> no. Why are you giggling? Yeah. I feel like you have something you want to say. I don't have anything I want to say. Really? Um, I'm just saying, hypothetically... Oh, you're um, smiling so much. Your cheeks are cute. Stop, Sistine. So you're blushing. No, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you blinking so fast? I don't know. I'm tweaking right now. Stop. If I didn't find my guy before 30... <laughs> you're lying uh, through your teeth. I'm not lying. You damn know Can what's you happening. Can stop? I'm, just, I'm not doing anything. My point is, is like... Can't I'm, wait to be a bridesmaid. I, I, we're just saying we get your message. <sighs> I hope the listeners no, are picking no, up no, what she's putting down. We're not picking down. up anything on we're putting down. But my point is, is that if I <laughs> was... not picking if anything I hadn't up. Found, if I hadn't found anyone before 30, I probably would consider freezing my ex at like 29. Just so in case... By the way, actually... Even if I had found someone, because think about hypothetically, and I had this realization, and actually we both did. Mm. We always were like, we want kids, we want families, obviously. But I had this thought where I'm like, I don't want them anytime soon. Remember no how we kidding. were like, but not not saying now. I'm saying like we had this at, conversation drunk at a bar in Miami, <laughs> by the way. But not even at 32. But like, like what I don't are know we if I'm doing? <laughs> stressing. Well, my point is, is like I don't, I don't want to stress, but it's also like I want to be able to freeze my eggs so that if I want to have just have my first kid at 34, 35, like it would be very doable. I mean, I'll freeze them with you. We should do like a two for one. You would do with me. Yeah, but not anytime soon. Okay. No, not soon. I, I just 20. don't want to do it alone. Well, I would do it in like a year or two. I'll tell you this though. I never really, like I've always wanted kids, but I never really had the, some girls are so like, that's their journey. And like, they're just so passionate, which I love until that same woman that told me to freeze my eggs. Let me hold her baby. Three month old baby. I don't know what came over me. Baby fever. Yeah. Oh, she baby. Baby my fever. She sent me so God. many photos of some random kid. I'm like, Yo, I got to show you the that's photos. That's baby fever. Oh, my God. I've never felt like it was literally like, I, I don't even know. No, I felt like I it was mine. Like, I didn't want to put it down. It was something it was like, it so was the innocent. It was squishiest baby like, I've ever seen in my life. It's just so new and innocent and pure. It's, and there was nothing like new, wrong. Did it smell like a baby? Smelt like a new God, baby. baby smells and had the, and the so, feet with so the rolls. Cute. And, I have to say, this baby was the most well-behaved baby. It really? didn't cry. It only giggled. So maybe it was just uh, that's the unrealistic trick. baby. You can't hang around well-behaved babies yeah. because most of them are the ones on the planes. But I swear but to God, it was I like my chest was, was like tingling. Like I just was like, oh my God, I want one. You know what we should do? What? No. What? We freeze our eggs. We swap our eggs. <gasps> And then we hold each other's babies. We put a babies. and then we don't yeah, know Yeah, and we see, like, we, we don't know who's is, who's <gasps> Because, by the way, we look very like. So we really Wait, wait, know. wait. But who's inseminating what? But that's my point. Should we get both of our husbands? Mix it up, too? No, no, no. And we just, we don't know. Yeah. What? That's insane. What if I had what? your kid in mind? But, but, but what if I had. And then we switch at birth, and I, then they're so confused. Like, you had you had your egg with, like, my husband. I had yours with. And, but we didn't know. We put him in, but unless your husband looks very different, unless he was like husband. a ginger, like or he's like, yeah, he's like a different <laughs> culture, like in race, like, like like totally different, like where it's obvious, but like what if we? I think we consider it. I think that's an insane plan. I think it'd be hilarious for the plot, for probably. the plot, for the podcast content. <laughs> Yeah. Gotcha. Chris, you want in on this? <laughs> yeah, like, Explain to me how that would work. Wait, exactly. Is, oh my God, we throw it. <laughs> we throw it as a third party. We don't know. <laughs> Him versus the husband. Oh God. I love it. I love this idea. How's your dating life? It's good. Yeah. Well, you looked up. That means you're lying. <laughs> Jesus. He okay. What is it? it? Politi- um, I get a date on Saturday. Oh, Ooh, interesting. Where are you taking her? Down the street. Is it uh, a bar? 
Yeah. Do you want me to shout them out? No. 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 Yeah, there you go. No, no, no. <laughs> it's a really, like, nice, like, cute, like, cozy no, that's little perfect, bar, though. Honestly, that's the best first date. Was this a, like, a online date, or is this a through friends? Kind of in between. Like, you knew of her? I from, know like, of her, sort of, yeah, from friends. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of um, nice. little veteran. And we went, like, back and forth for a while, and mm. then I saw she was in the city, like, a couple weeks ago. We were trying to meet <gasps> up, didn't work out, but then she hit me up and was like, I'm going to be in the city. A uh, girl with, yeah. by the way. I want to say this, all the ladies, making the first move actually does work. So she doesn't live here. No. So she's here for a good time, not a long time. Oh, we'll see. Oh, Jesus. We'll Don't. see. It's so exciting. Ooh, manifesting. <laughs> Mom comes back on the podcast. She says, actually, Chris sounds like No, yeah. <laughs> Mom loves you. She was just like, oh, my God, he just sounds attractive. I'm like, yeah, Mom. Damn. She's Jesus. got Riz. Mama. I know. <laughs> All right. Well, regardless, I just think it's good to make the first movie. Let's girl. It works. Strike when the iron's hot. Is that relating that, to something yo. you know in life? No, y'all need to stop. You are the one putting up these little I just, hints. So uh, he just brought up how a girl made the first move. I'm like, strike when the iron's hot. It could be like a guy. You just make the first move. All and right. It. Do we have any listener questions? Yeah, we do. A little mysterious you. I'm not mysterious at all. All right. I love when Sophia has something exciting happening in her life because she's in the best mood. And normally you're in a bomb ass I've, mood. I, have I have been in a You've good mood? You've been so happy. And I'm like, my mom and I are like, thank God. She goes, this have is, I? Have I, I been in a good mood? Oh, really? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I've been pretty happy. Thank God, because you were just so <laughs> negative before. I, I actually. This that, bitch put me in therapy. Oh, really? ditto. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Therapy. You want me to tell everyone that I'm in therapy now? Yeah. <laughs> All those efforts are like, you should be in therapy. Okay. She's in therapy now. Yes. yes. Okay. Can I actually explain how I got to this point? And guess who graduated therapy? No, she's still in it. <laughs> yeah, well, what does that she's... mean? Can you define graduate therapy? I don't know. Therapy? I guess okay. it's when you make the choice yourself. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm straight. <laughs> until no, until the next rock bottom. Yeah, you're until, like, I need you until I get dumped. Like, <laughs> Okay, so I haven't had therapy for a really, really long time. I had it when I was younger for a little bit because I had severe anxiety. But I've always been the I can fix myself person. <laughs> and so that's that never works, you know, no. because I always say to myself, you talking to yourself is crazy talking to crazy, you know. It oh. doesn't work, right? Like you're t- you're saying you have all these problems and you're trying to convince yourself that you're you're okay, but it's your self talk, you know, it's it's just a repetitive cycle where yeah, I like crash, I go up and I go down, whatever. Um, my point was is that I realized I had a lot of patterns and things I wanted to talk about that I really couldn't express to anyone in the family because I felt like not that this is against you guys, but everyone has an opinion and a judgment because they know me and there's past history and it, you know, it's nice to get advice from someone that's one professional and two doesn't know anything about you, your past, yes. you're like, there's no preconceived notions. Yes. And so I just was like, you know, I'm at a phase where I'm starting to go from, I'm not, not like old or anything, but like I'm starting to hit my late twenties and going into thirties. And there's a lot of things I want to sort out and figure out before kind of diving into anything. And yeah, so it's been great. I love it so much. Your therapist is also like very attractive. She's beautiful. She's so, so pretty. And I don't know. I would like I don't to know pay how to speak got, to her as well. I know. I don't know how I got so lucky to find her, but she's just been so helpful. And it's it's been very new, but I, honestly, it's such a – I hate when people make it like a thing. Now now I was one of those people. It's not a thing, by the way. I think by you saying I hate when people make it a thing makes it a thing. Yeah. I think it's so normalized that it's it's not it was, even a But you know what's interesting issue. is I always encouraged everyone else to get it if they need to really talk to someone about issues. You but, were the biggest advocate for But I for never wanted it myself, therapy. which is so insane. No, I'm really happy about it. So definitely if you guys need to talk to someone, just find someone. It's like dating, by the way. I had to go through yeah. a couple to find her. You know, yeah. you, you go through a couple sessions, 15-minute free consultations. <laughs> How do you know who's not the one? <gasps> That's Ooh. a good question. I think that... There is a requirement and a there's there's something that everyone looks for in a therapist, I think. And what Sistine is probably looking for is different what I'm looking for. What I look for in yeah. a therapist is someone that is very casual, open book. She tells me things about herself. I tell her things about myself where it feels like more of a friendship rather than a patient doctor situation. I've I've met with a therapist one time and she 
agreed with all of my what I already know is like bad behavior. And she was almost like making it feel okay when I'm like, no, no, no you have to tell me that that's not okay yeah, and exactly. it's not to fix it. Like, don't be a hype man for me. Because yeah. then you're sort of reinforcing what I've been doing. It just depends on what you're looking for. Because I also met with someone before that was too on the book, on the dot, like, okay, asking very structured questions. Like yeah. some people need that structure and they need to have that separation where it doesn't feel too close to comfort, but I'm someone that needs it to be a best friend situation. I also had this one therapist that um, spent so much of our time, which is expensive, talking about topics that weren't even related to, like, me or, th like, yeah. our therapy. Like, just, like, gossiping, like, talking about, like, pop culture, and I was like, uh, yeah. I think overall, you can tell yeah. by talking to these people, and you have to be seriously yourself I know it's hard because you're like nervous talking to a therapist but you have when you're really open and honest about who you are to them it is very easy to tell who you click with and who I you think don't. I can tell you when you know when you click with a therapist how do you tell when you cry with them I, I feel like the first therapist that I cried with that's it was like wait, a bond that's so funny I cried with my current therapist yeah. the first session Th Maybe we just were really sad. I know, it, but, but, but it was <laughs> interesting. I was talking about like pretty serious things, and the thing I cried about was so random. Oh my god, it's about dating and guys, of course. Oh yeah. god, <laughs> it's something was specific. Not that. But like, I was talking about that, and so, which is ironic. Um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listener question. <laughs> yeah, I'll read one short one and one long one. Oh. So it says, not dating wise, but best friend wise. How would you tell them that you love them and their pets, but absolutely would not enjoy living with them because of it? I know it's easy saying everything. I literally just typed it out. I know she would take it so personally, but I don't want that. So she basically has a best friend that has a bunch of pets oh. that she they're about to live together. Oh. And she wants to tell her, her friend, like, I can't live with you because you have pets and I don't want to live with your pets. And she knows that she'll take it personally. That's How do you so approach fair, that? Though. Why would you take it personally? Is, is well, first question. of all, I think people that have animals, and by the way, I'm obsessed with dogs, mm -hmm. that it's their children. Yeah. And then, by the way, I just went to dinner yesterday and I sat next to this guy I didn't really know. I asked if he had an animal. I proceeded to see, not joking, 15 minutes worth of Dude, photographs. People don't videos, care about what your dog looks like, like in a sweater in their backyard. You probably thought that was for his, though. No, no, no. He had a girlfriend oh. right across the table. So it was not trying to impress me. Okay. Um, it was like a very intimate setting. Sure. Uh, no, but so. think about it. When it's not your dog and someone just shows me like your like raggedy little mutt, you're like, oh. <laughs> Yo, not the raggedy I little know, mutt. You look at it. You look at it. You're she like, actually doesn't like dogs. We all do the same thing. We're like, cute. <laughs> I'm you, sorry. You don't have the I, let, let me just do PSA. Guys, one photo of a dog, that's it. I'm How telling you, no, no one, no one really cares about your dog except you. Like truly. Show me you playing lacrosse and... You know, college. We'll see that. Just Thank seen, you. you know, <laughs> show me shirtless photos of me. That will talk. <laughs> That's something I'm really interested in. All right? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Your fucking butt. Next. <laughs> your fucking butt. So How about this? Tell your friend. Serious note. Exactly what you wrote down. Because, and if she handles it in a way that is just aggressive and mean and she lashes out on you... That's kind of an uncool uh, Because, response. by the way, I wouldn't want to live with someone no, that had an animal. I, I, valid. But it's just seen, like, I, I want a dog and Sassine doesn't. I totally understand. Like, it's going to change our dynamic. Yeah. And some people are totally fine with it. But I think it's different when it's – if it was, like, a boyfriend coming in with his dog, different situation. That's, like, a little bit Question, more you have though, to work is with Is she but. moving into her space with the animals? Um, or are they going to get a new place I, Her best friend wants to live with her. Wants to live with her. And her best friend has all the animals. And so she's... That's just... Yeah. If, like, unless you're I, moving into your friend's place with the animal, she's already there, then no. But if if you... She's, could she's you not fake gonna, allergy? No. For, like, oh. could you say you're... That was where I was going with it. Right? If can you don't want to deal with it healthy, you could just fake You can an just allergy. pretend like you went to an allergist and be like, no, oh, I just found I'm allergic to cancer, You can take something for that. Dogs. You I'm can not taking yeah. something for no, your But that's like a whole other ordeal. You're not going to take stuff for that. So, girl... Just tell her you don't want to live with a dog. Yeah. Who cares? And by the way, so does 90% of the country. Like, I don't want to live with some random person's dog. I'll yeah. take care of it for a week, but I'm not going to live with Especially it. Especially if you're both living there. Like, you both need to agree on that. Yeah. There's hair. It's not even about the it's dog. Like, there's gross. hair all over there's the place. There's piss on the rug. Yeah. It's, it's just like, like it, by the, the apartment does smell and feel different when you have an animal in the house. For sure. Like, And then right. you're going to probably be responsible for walking it three times a day. 
barking and like your friend can't go out because the dog's up. And the you bring apartment. a guy home and the dog's watching. It's just a mess. Yeah, you can't have the dog. That, that is. Crazy. I actually do think about those moments. Do the dog know? Does the dog know? What's yeah. Going on? The dog knows what's yeah. going on. You think on. so? It just absolutely. Yeah. There's no way. What do you it think knows? about it? Like I feel like a cat. It doesn't like no different positions. This and stuff. this one the girl's dog. 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 Doggy style. Yes, dad, you got it still. This <laughs> one girl's dog that I I date. <laughs> you dated the dog that I did. Oh my god, Chris! What? I was so chill with the dog. Me and the dog were bros. Like I get. Get there, great, but like whenever something was going on, yeah, hated me. Dog hated me. <gasps> really? Yeah. It was, was it a man or I mean, a boy or a girl? <laughs> Sorry, what do you? Boy dog. What, a boy, do- boy dog. Yeah, protective. Boy was dog. it a man dog? I mean, boy dog. <laughs> a boy dog. Other thing about this, by the way, no outside clothes, but dog outside <gasps> in the That's- bed. Oh, that's see, what's so up? True. There's no difference. What's, what's up with that? I know. That's gross. Take off your shoes. Outdoor clothes can't be on the bed. But your dog, who is was just nasty in the feet, and she would wipe the dog's paws. That was her justification. No, that's I'm not like, enough. Yo. No, their mouth, no. their nose is everywhere. Like, don't they're not, like licking they're stuff. They're rolling in the yeah, dirt. Was, like, unless you're washing the dog. Gum. Yeah. No. 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 Okay. This is the second question. It's a little bit longer, but it's the last one. Hi, my fave sisters. First of all, I love you. Kind of a newish listener. And I wanted to tell you that you're the sisters I've never had. Yay. Anyways, I love you. So I'm in a relationship and for a year with the nicest guy ever. Um, we have so much fun and so many things in common and we love each other. He does everything I wished a boyfriend would do. Mm-hmm. This is the first serious ever relationship I've been in, by the way. Oh my God. I care about him. I love him. He is the nicest guy, but. Oh, uh, No. I feel here I am kind of greedy. Problem. I feel really strongly that he loves me, like more than I do. And the feeling is killing me because he always tells me how pretty I am for him. Oh, she's just saying he overly compliments her and all this stuff. And she she goes as someone that has zero confidence here. It sometimes is a turnoff. I don't know if it's the nice, if it's nice to refer to as a turnoff after one year, but we're super close and I feel guilty. My brain is malfunctioning, as you can see. He is so smart, and I love it. That is the biggest thing for me. I pay so, so much attention to that. The second problem, oh, I know he doesn't have the nicest body or arms. Oh, I adore his face, though. Oh, no. I would imagine a boyfriend would, but again, I am greedy here and guilty. My problem is I feel all that, and because it's my first relationship ever, I don't want to compromise anything here. And I'm 20, by the way. Please send me advice, and um, because I'm lost in my thoughts. Okay, okay, okay. Should we? I think we should address part one first. Okay. The feeling like she, maybe she doesn't this. believe him when he's complimenting her. If I'm getting that correct. I know. So just to reiterate, it says. Um, he's the nicest guy ever, but I feel like I'm kind of greedy problem. I feel really strongly that he loves me and likes me more than I do. And that feeling is killing me because he always, wait, he always tells me how pretty I am for him, how probably too pretty I am for him and everything. And I translate that as sometimes as a luck of confidence. Some comes from someone with me with zero. Oh, oh, a lack. She meant lack of confidence. Oh, okay. Cause she wrote L-U-C-K. Okay. So she meant to say he's overly complimenting her. And she thinks it's because he has a lack of confidence. And she's like speaking of someone who actually has zero confidence. She's out of his league and they both know it. And she this is her way of so, saying that. Yeah. And she says that he's – but she's so in love with him. He doesn't have a, I'm I sure guess, he's a nice wonderful body, guy. but yeah. he's a great face. I think we should address Oof. the first part. Okay. Right? The first thing my brain went to was get out of your own head and let yourself be loved by this person. Let yourself be complimented by this person. Let him shower you. Let him love you more. Just, like, enjoy it. Get out of your head. Take it on. Like, you guys are young. Just feel happy. Like, that's part one. Part two, let's get to part two. I feel like when I was 20 in dating, we're very into, like, slightly more superficial aspects than I think you yeah, consider as you get older in your dating career. I think that the way she's describing him, like how much she loves him and this and this and this, I don't know if there's like a totally appropriate way to address. You don't address it. Like his arms all. and his body. I feel like. You don't. If you truly loved him as much as you're saying you love him, you should love everything about him and you wouldn't want to change anything about it him. It sounds like she's super in love with him, but she's not attracted to him. And it sounds like the lack of – and then also with that, she's seeing that his complimenting her, which probably isn't coming from no confidence. She's 
taking that as him having no confidence. He probably de- genuinely just thinks she's the most beautiful girl, well, and he's I'm so lucky. I'm assuming he's 20 as well. I mean, how secure were you with yourself at 20 years old? I just figured it out. What do you think? There's a la- lack of experience, and everybody obviously has options thrown at them all day, and I think they're both kind of experiencing that. But like, yeah, uh, yeah, I it, it seems, you're you're really young. Like where you don't that confidence comes later. I feel like, uh-huh. um, like the true confidence. Yeah. Like there's people that fake the confidence and stuff, but like, exactly. Yeah. And this is the thing. And I also want to reiterate is that. You have been with him for a year, so clearly you love being around him and you like him a lot. And there is an attraction there that <clears throat> maybe isn't physical, but it is probably emotional. It's probably mental. And by the way, it takes the compliments. I've been with people yeah. that didn't compliment me ever. Oh, and it same. was really, really actually, you think you have zero confidence now? Yeah. Try that. I think continue loving him as he is, who he is. But if there's a point where the attraction isn't there, that's a huge part of it. And you he can't help it. You can't help it. And if, you, if you're really trying to find other ways to find him attractive, because you can find attractiveness in other things he does. Like, honestly, if he had a hobby that he was really good at, like, sometimes I look at a guy that maybe isn't the hottest person, but he's great mm-hmm. at stand-up or something. I'm like, wow, he's super hot. Like, mm-hmm. there's other ways to find him attractive that doesn't need to be totally superficial. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you are 20, you're young. And by the way, I'll tell you, I've made so many dumb errors with these yeah. guys. And sometimes I thought in my head there was something I needed more than I, like what's something I wanted more than I needed. And sometimes you gotta just learn your lesson and, you know, decide, you know, and kind of make those mistakes. And, but I'm, that's all my kind of advice for you is that. It's like, try to, yeah. you know, love him I think, for other I think ways. because she's young, it's like you th- these are the sort of pivotal relationship moves that you make that is going to teach you lessons for later on. Yeah. Like so if you do decide to break up with him, then you're going to maybe realize a year or two from now, oh, that wasn't what I was supposed to do. I should have just allowed the person. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's uh, yeah. like it's a lesson. I would also say try not to break up with him because of the whole no. physical aspect. Like try to really be with him and enjoy him and, you know, love him for who he is. You know what I just thought of? What? I'm going to start to get a little introspective. Oh. This sounds like more of a social problem rather than a personal like problem. Like how are you feeling in public This sounds with him? like what are her friends saying? What is yeah. social media thinking? What is her family talking about? Because I'll tell you this. Mm. from Genuinely from your words, it sounds like you really love him. But it sounds like the aspect of him just not being that hot you're more embarrassing, and I don't want to say embarrassing, but like you're, you're you more concerned like you're about what the public thinks, what strangers think of you yeah, two it, together. It doesn't sound like it's her. I think if she had the full reins on this, and friends were not included, she wouldn't care at all. No, because it really doesn't sound like she really did care in the first. But she's been with him for a year. But by the way, I remember I used to do the same thing. Yeah, like when I was your age, I literally was like, "Oh my god, what is someone going to think of us together?" But mm, now, no one. When I'm 25, I could give a rat's ass. Guys, no one think. cares. No one cares, no one by cares. the way. Who cares? Think about this. Who cares? Do you think that, who cares? That Love him for who he is. Do you think that classmate oh. of yours or that person that was in front of you getting a Starbucks this morning is going to bed thinking about what you two looked like together as a couple? No. 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 Oh, you, they see a photo of you? I guarantee you they're not talking 20 everyone minutes is about so how concerned. he looks, how you look, and like now you're listen, hotter. Like, everyone is so concerned about themselves and what they look like 24 7 that we as humans don't have space in our brain to think about what you look like and i'll tell you this i can guarantee your friends with the the hot looking couples aren't all hot shots anyways and they're probably going through a lot of shit that you're probably not going through in comparison yeah you have a guy that's Who telling you that you. loves you that you love him you've Saying been together you for look a year. Good. first really by the way having a good healthy first relationship is a rarity i'm jealous seriously you're starting off on the right foot so yes. all your other relationships are going to kind of not going to say they're going to be seamless, but they're going to, you're going to know what you're worth, you know, like you're going to be deserving. So who cares? Love him, be with him. And if you really care what your friends think, then that's something that you need to think about. Live, laugh, unwaxed. And that's our show today. Okay. Well, we're going to go, I'm going to go get a drink. So going to go to bed, but I am. Oh. <laughs> but thank you guys for listening. Find us on Apple, Spotify, Instagram, TikTok, if it's still alive there and YouTube. YouTube. Also, also, I just want to say this because we haven't said this in a while. If you guys put five stars, ratings, reviews, I'm telling you, I know this sounds so annoying and everyone usually speeds this part up, but that does help us. 
It does help us in like, re- yeah, like ratings. Yeah, one pro- guy gave us one star a year ago because he said it was there was a quote audio problem. No, but it does Sorry. help us. Like every time. I just want to say I haven't been on. That for a wasn't year. with Chris. Yeah, it was Sophia and I tried right. to do just, it yeah, on yep. our own. <laughs> this <laughs> so is when like Chris just, wasn't just, around. This is like Sophia and I did Zoom this interviews. This is what Sophia, you know, we're producing ourselves. Yeah. Um, but yeah, please do that for us. We would really appreciate it and keep asking those questions because we love answering them. And we'll see you next Tuesday. It's a three hundred five. We didn't even talk about Pitbull. We saw Pitbull. Oh, All right. Goodbye, guys. We saw Pitbull. <laughs>